Justin Bieber, and you're spending some quality time with Mojo, Spike, and Shannon in the morning. <laughs> all right, it didn't go quite as planned. I Tell me how this all went down. So I got a, a call that Justin Bieber wanted to come on the show, but unfortunately, because of the time zone change, that he couldn't come on with us live on the show. So he was going to call in the afternoon, but I didn't have enough time to actually get back to the radio station to do the interview. So they said, hey, well, why don't you just talk to him on your cell phone? Just call him and record it up on your cell phone. So I did and talked to him, had a, a, a fun conversation in the beginning, and then at the end it went horribly wrong. Actually, Rachel, you were conferenced in on the on the call, and I know you must have had the, the, the sweats. I was having a heart attack. All right. Now, let me just say this to you. You're going to hear Justin get offended when I gave him what I thought was a compliment about Justin Timberlake, referring to Justin Timberlake. And then you're going to hear him towards the end get all kind of upset when I talked about One Direction, okay? And... Um, We'll explain more of what happened after the interview, after you take a listen to it. Take a listen. Mojo, you're on with JB. Justin Bieber? Yo. What's going on, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Just, uh, I'm in California right now. I'm enjoying the sunshine before I head off for my uh, promotion again. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so proud of, of what you've accomplished. I, I still remember us raising cans of food for the food bank by having people just bring a can of food to come see you when you were first starting out. And now you are, uh, you're the man with Believe. Congratulations. Thank you so much, man. We've been, uh, we've been working really hard and, you know, it's been paying off and the music is, is good and people have been enjoying it. So I'm really just happy of the direction I've been going and, um, you know, the transition has been, been really good. Now, I, I know that, uh, you know, we joke about Bieber uh, fever, but I don't know if you heard the story this week that there's actually a doctor that found out that Bieber fever is actually for real. <laughs> what? Did you hear this? There's there's a, a neurologist that actually found out that it's true that girls could have Bieber fever, which causes them to be uncontrollably screaming, swooning, and spending hours on Twitter and Facebook. And they say it's similar to a person uncontrollably eating food or, you know, craving chocolates. Dang. Bieber so fever is an all those girls going crazy and screaming around like that, uh, <laughs> I guess uh, you, you've caused some kind of a, a, an issue for them. Oh, my goodness. No, that's funny. I'm just, I'm just making music. You know, I, I hope you take this as a compliment because I really mean it as that. But when I first got played the song by, you know, some of your record people who said, hey, I want you to hear something, and this was months and months before it came out, they said, take a listen to this and tell me if you can tell me who this is. I thought it was Justin Timberlake. Where? What one? When, when I heard Boyfriend for the very first time, it, it, it not, you know, and like I said, take it as a compliment because I think Justin Timberlake's the, the man. But I thought it was Justin Timberlake's single. And then when they told me it was you, I was so excited for you. Man, that's crazy because our voices sound nothing alike. But it's, but it's funny, though, because you have... I, do, you, do you not take that as a compliment? Um, I mean, I, 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 I'm not trying to sound like anyone. I mean, saying I sound like someone else is not really a compliment, but saying, I mean... I think that if you were to say, like, you know, I, I definitely heard some Justin Timberlake-esque things in, you know, your, your sound. But, I mean, I would take that as a compliment, but saying I said, it, you thought it was Justin Timberlake, I don't... I don't well, because I didn't know who it was at first, you know, and obviously it was, it, to, it's, it's the, you know, it's a grown-up sound of Justin Bieber, and it's such a great, you sound so good in this entire CD, it's amazing. Thank you, thank you. I mean, you know, my voice is, uh, is definitely changed, and... You know, I think that uh, my, my songs are maturing and, you know, I'm maturing as an artist and, you know, I, I want to be known as, you know, and me remembered as, you know, Justin Bieber and, um, and uh, you know, Justin Timberlake is definitely really talented and he's, uh, and there's similarities because, you know, he's, he's white and he's singing, um, you know, pop, R&B music and I think that uh, we both have that, you know, type of edge, but, um, I definitely want to, you know, have my own lane and, and not be, you know, compared, but I think that he's super, super talented and nothing against him. As far as the music's concerned, you're also sending some messages out there, too. A lot of controversy behind the, uh, the song Maria, which uh, a lot of people have talked about saying that it's, a, it's about uh, the girl that caused a lot of pain for you over the last year, uh, Mariah Yader. Uh, is, is the song about her? Inspired. I mean, it's definitely inspired. Um, 
you know, um, I think that I, w- I just wanted to talk about things that happen. Um, and I feel like, uh, you know, if, I, if I'm talking about things that really are going on in my life, it's going to be more personal for my fans and more personal for the people listening and to know that oh, yeah, these are the things that Justin's actually going through and this is what he wants to talk about. So I feel like being able to share those stories and be able to um, talk about things that, um, you know, because I couldn't really talk about a situation in interviews, so to be able to talk about it and get it off my chest in a song was, was really fun. Did you think about calling it Mariah? I didn't call it Mariah. I, I, unless I, you were, like, I didn't want to get sued. Cause it's, yeah. yeah. Was that, would, would you say, you know, the price of fame, they talk about the price of fame, and you think about what you, you've gone through with that. Do you look back on that and, and say that that was probably one of the toughest moments of, of so far in your career? I mean, you know, I think it's crazy that, um, you know, someone says one thing and, and the world, you know, believes it. And right away, people, you know, everyone was like, oh, Justin. And so I think that, you know, um, you know, that was definitely hard. And there's, there, there's going to be more times where people are going to say things and that aren't going to be true. And you got to, at me in this business, i got to just know that, you know, I know what the truth is. And, you know, eventually the truth is going to come out. So, um, so yeah, you just got to brush it off. I also saw this, that uh, that you have established a little bit of a friendship with the guys from One Direction. I mean, yeah, definitely somewhat. Um, they they were in town a while ago, and they, they came over and stuff. But, yeah, they're, they're good kids. Do you worry about Harry, uh, you know, when he's around your mom, since it seems that he likes older women? Do I wonder what? Do you worry about Harry around your mom, since he, uh, he likes older women? No, but you should worry about me around your mom, bro. Around my mom? Yeah. Justin, my mom's dead, so unfortunately, it wouldn't work. Hey, the uh, this is the moment of the interview where it goes it goes south. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh my God, this is so awkward. I think I lost him. All right. <laughs> Hold on one second. All right, so just to give you a little behind the scenes of what was going on at this time, Behind the scenes at this time, the person that connected us from the record company uh, was trying to call Justin back to get him back on the, the phone and see if he would finish up because she had said something about his... Oh, she is trying to get him back on? Hey, I can't get him. He's in a really sh- area. She thinks it's his cell phone. That's the reason why he hung up. Okay? So she's like... Um, hold on one sec, Mojo, okay? Did he hang up on that or did he hang up because he was upset? All right, so Rachel, you're you're on the line too. You can't hear you on that one, but you're like sitting there going. Hold on one second, okay. All right, she's trying to figure it out, and you knew as well as I knew why he hung up right. the phone. Yeah, and I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but, but, but he yeah. was dumb for saying that and not knowing the situation on the other end. Yeah. Well, he the, was joking and laughing up until you told him that your mom had died, well, and then all of a sudden he's going to be offended at you. It's like, wait a minute, you were just yeah. joking a second ago. You're Mr. Prankster. All right, and then she comes back on the phone and Mojo. Yes. Hi. So, um, got a little upset with the question. Oh, really so you did get upset. It wasn't a cell phone. Okay. Um, and you probably won't be calling back. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So that was it. But here's the interesting part about that question that I asked him. That question that I asked him, Rachel pulled up this morning in an article, um, a very similar question that was asked of Selena Gomez. And the reason why is the story came out this week that Harry's dating an older woman. He's been dating lots of older women, yeah. but yeah, one yeah. in particular. And so so there's a there's an interviewer that asked Selena Gomez the same question. Actually, where was it asked uh, uh, to her? I don't remember. It was you know, on a talk so, show. She made a comment that they've been becoming friends with One Direction. And she jokingly said, ha, ha, ha. But Justin said, we need to keep our moms away because they're hot and young from Harry. So yes. Justin made a joke. Selena was recanting that story, and that's where I got it. From. Isn't that so funny? No big and deal. all I was trying yeah. to refer to is the story that came out this week about Harry, about how Harry's dating older women and dating this this married woman. But so. even even the way that he said it back to you, you got to watch out for your me around your mom. Like you could tell at that point he was pissed already. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm kind of getting bummed out because you know. I don't listen to his music, but I've always thought Justin was pretty cool. But he is. He's, t- he's starting to take himself way too seriously. I know. Started about six months ago, 
uh, I forget what the story was. And then like a month later, you know, there was something that came up that I was just like, dude, lighten up. And then a month later, that whole paternity test thing came down. And uh, they really like attacked that girl, but yet they never released the results of the, the DNA test. So, you know, they could have just been classier and put her down and made her look like a fool without well being so babyish about it. It's just so funny, like the... Oh, your mom, your mom, your mom. Right. Jokes. Maybe that was like before his did, time, and he didn't get. Did he didn't get it? Did I you like know. how he diffused it with my mom's dead? Which is, which is <laughs> yeah, I know you just really put. Which this is true, which by is the way. True. Yeah. By the way, but here, here, I thought this was also interesting too. He calls One Direction. He says, "Yeah, they're, they're good kids. They're good kids. They're good kids. They're older than he is." And, and then here's the last part. He's of trying that to make it sound like he's about the, Harry. Uh, you know, when he's around your mom, since it seems that he likes older women. Do I wonder what? Do you worry about Harry around your mom since he uh, he likes older women? No, I think you should worry about me around your mom, bro. <laughs> around my mom? Yeah. My, Justin, my mom's dead, yeah. so unfortunately. See, he was laughing that up to that point. <laughs> Oh my God. He was it's laughing, so... and then he just didn't know yeah, what to say after you said nice that. There. I was li- I'm listening back to that now. I'm realizing, oh my God, that was harsh. He's taking himself too seriously. Like, he, like calling the yeah. guy's kids like he's the seasoned vet professional of the biz. But even when you talked to the Justin Timberlake thing, like you were just saying, the song's production value, it sounded a little bit like a JT song. That's what and I thought. I, it, it, well, you weren't saying his voice sounds like Justin no. Timberlake's voice. And when you cleared it up, he still was real pr- A person played it, it for me and said, who, do you, who is this? And I said, oh my God, Justin Timberlake. And they said, no, it's Bieber. I was like, wow. Yeah, I was and like, once so you excited. hear him sing, you knew it was Bieber. But in the meantime, he didn't have to get so snippy about it. Yeah. It's a compliment when you, you, know, you compare him to a guy that sold 42 million records. Hey, what's up, Michelle? Hi. Well, I wanted to say that the, awkward, the interview was so awkward. He sounds so immature still. Yeah, it, it, he's uh, well. They might just have him overworked. You know, the guy's promoting like 4,000 things a day to get this album on, on the charts. I was impressed, by the way, that uh, he didn't do like, 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 like. Um, he did a lot of I mean, um, I mean, yeah. I mean. Kind of I mean. like, 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 I try to go like, like, yeah. like, like, just say like, because like everyone can, re- everyone like, it's like makes everyone happier. You're like, like, um, I'll tell you what, uh, we'll post it on mojo in the morning.com so you can take a listen to it again, but. He has not called, nor have I gotten any word back from him. I did send a message to the record label just saying, hey, I hope I didn't offend him, but I was just asking questions. How did you, how so, did you offend him? You were telling so. him how much, you gave him a truthful answer. Yeah. Is it is it too harsh for us to start the hashtag and get a, a trending uh, Twitter topic of <gasps> hashtag Justin Bieber kills moms? Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Douchebag! <laughs> I thought you were going to come up with something really kind of clever there for a second, but no. It's Friday. No, right. I'm not, don't look to me for right. clever today.